Well, squirrel season's just around the corner. Figured I'd show you guys the old uh, squirrel gun. This is my Marlin Model 25N. And this gun here I've had for quite a few years. It was actually made in 98, which is probably the year I got it. I got it new. And the way that you tell on a Marlin is you take the first two digits of the serial number and you subtract it by 100. So this was in 98, it's, it's, it's 02. So you subtract 100 from it. So this was made in 98. And the newer versions now are, I think the nine, I think the 925, 925R, they have the synthetic stock. And I think they also come with these here, the swivels for your, um, for your sling. I had to put these in, but um, this one here, obviously it has the uh, press checkered on it with the birch stock. And I just have a Bushnell, it's a four by, it's just a straight four power by 32 scope. And like I said, this thing here, it's got a 22 inch barrel on it. It's five and a half pounds. It has the micro grooving. That's something that Marlin came up with, I guess, I think. Oh, it's got the magazine. It's, that's Blackie back there, the rooster. It has a seven round magazine that it comes with. 22 long rifle only in the magazine. I'm sure you can shoot short out of this, even though it says long rifle only, so maybe not. I've never shot short out of it. I've only I've always shot the long rifle. That's basically all there is to it. I mean, it's just your basic 22 bolt action rimfire. Um, I think they quit making these in 2003, and then I, like I said, they went to the 925 or whatever it is. Um, before that, I think it was the 900. I have no idea. I could be pulling one out. Of, you know, um, I figured I'd take a few shots with it. I got the old lead sled here just for the front rest. I don't really need this. Maybe I can put it sideways and just do, oh, I guess you can't turn that. No, whatever. Uh, at least my shoulder won't hurt after shooting this one. Now, what I shoot, I usually, whenever I first got this, I always shot the Federal bulk ammunition, the hollow points that came in like the 550. I think it, originally they came in like 550 um, round packs. For squirrel hunting, I'm using the old mini mags, the CCI mini mags, and I'm at probably 45, maybe 50 yards. So I got some targets here. I just drew up real quick with a Sharpie. Since squirrel season is coming in, I wanna make sure I know exactly what I'm aiming for or looking for. So I got this. Now it does kind of look like a beaver slash, um, Vampire, so I don't really know what that, whatever. But it's, um, that's my target here. Whenever I get her dialed in, I'll make sure I can hit them in the head. All right, let's go set these targets up here. Okay, I'm all set up here. That lead sled's a lot higher than I thought it. So I just had to, I'm actually gonna have to sit on that. All right, here we go. First misfire. I can't find it. Whatever. All right, let's go check it out. That's enough. There's one good shot, but well, that's everywhere. Let me try. I guess I'll try aiming for those smaller circles because right now I really have no idea what's going on. Those are everywhere. Going for the smaller target here. You know what, maybe I ought to try, I do have some of that federal bulk stuff. Maybe I ought to go to get some and try it out. Okay, well, I mean, yeah, I can see it's shooting a little high. That's still pretty bad for only 40 yards with a scope, oh, 50. I went up and got some of this stuff here. This is my old federal 550 rounds I was talking about. And it has a Walmart sticker on it. It says 92006. So maybe this is one of my old boxes. I don't know how good this stuff is. It's 10 years old. That makes me sick. All right. Damn it. 
Damn it. Stray bullet. I mean, I... Shut up, Blackie. I gotta bring him over here. And this already looks a little bit, a little bit better. And eh, not much. Okay, this is the target grade performance. Not good, Batman. Before I go up and check this, we're gonna shoot a few more of these. The Federal Bulk, hollow point, 36 grain. Holy. Now I'm just going to do five more of the CCI. I know I guys, I really don't. Shut up. Sorry about that. If you can hear the rooster, we haven't killed him yet. All right, the top one was the, um, I think the top one, where are we here? We're like the weather man. Um, this must be the target, I think. This was the federal hollow bulk, and then this is the CCI. I think I'm just gonna crank it down just a few clicks, because we seem to be high, but look, we're down here. I mean, it's probably somewhere in here. I'm gonna call that the middle. So crank it down just a little bit and then uh, he's getting it. And I'm gonna call it good enough, guys. This is 50 yards away. You know what, I'm gonna move the bench up. I'm gonna move it up about 10 yards. Let's do that. All right, I'm gonna crank it down just a few notches here. I don't need that. Uh, like three clicks. It's probably a quarter inch, 100 yards, half that, so. Let's just do the CCI. Okay, there we are. I moved it down a little bit and I'm at like, I'm at about 40 yards. I moved it five yards closer or so. This is looking a lot better. Let me go ahead and try to kill these guys and I'm gonna call it good enough. I already shot a couple other. I'm sorry about the chicken. Uh, I shot a few times before that, but I forgot to hit record. All right, this one's gonna hurt, buddy. All right, and nuts. See if I can hit it. Actually, that was a gut shot. That was him for his nuts. Let's do one more here. Well, dang it. This is a. I'm gonna try to hit the acorn that the squirrel's holding. We'll see if I can do that. This is with the federal. That was a pretty good shot there on the on the top one. This one was my first shot. Then I came down here and put a few in him. I aimed for his nuts, but I actually I was aiming down here, honestly. Somehow this one. Oh, okay, that's where I was aiming for the acorn. I thought it was to the left, but I aimed. To, I guess I hit to the right. Oh boy, I didn't think it would take that long to take care of that. I thought I'd shoot maybe. 15 rounds and it'd be good enough, but I think I need to move this even a little bit closer and, and not kid myself. 50 yards is way, I think that's pushing it with the 22. Okay guys, well I think that wraps it up. We shot three different kinds of ammo. We shot the CCI and that's what I'm gonna go with, the CCI mini mags. I'm gonna take this out. I got a new tripod coming for my cam, for my camcorder, my DSLR. I'm gonna have to use my camcorder though because I can't zoom with this DSLR. I need like a 10 to 250 millimeter lens, which I don't think they make. And if they do, there's no way on earth I can afford it. I take the camcorder for that. It's nice and light. I can just stick it on a tripod and off I go. Hopefully I can get a video out, a uh, squirrel hunting video. I really want to, I've wanted to for years. And a little update on the hunting, you know, the archery. No, we haven't got a deer yet. Heather didn't get one. We've had many opportunities, but she doesn't want, doesn't want to shoot one with, a, uh, with fawns. That's where we're at with that. Uh, this is my squirrel gun, Marlin 25N. Um, it's always been my squirrel gun and it always will be. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to subscribe for more and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.